Yo, what is going on everyone? It is your boy Cusco and I'm bringing you another Destiny 2 Hunter build video and in my last Hunter build video, I was using the Athrus's Embrace and the comment section let me know that I was totally using this thing wrong. So I decided to make a Frosty's build and man, it, it I am using a different grenade on this Frosty's build. If you don't know what Frosties does, sprinting basically gives you energy and dodging speeds up your sprint. So if you are on the Revenant subclass, you are gonna wanna be running Duskfield Grenade. And the aspects I recommend you running are Grim Harvest along with Touch of Winter, because if you are running Duskfield Grenade, Touch of Winter allows you to destroy one of the crystals because there is one that spawns in every single one of your Duskfield Grenades. And you will literally have a dust field grenade every three, two to three seconds. Especially if you pick up the wells, you will have an instant grenade back. Fragment, you should use Whisper of Torment, along with Whisper of Conduction, Whisper of Rhyme, Whisper of Shards, and Whisper of Rending. Now this is just if you have all of them. I'm sure a lot of people have this done. I don't have many of these aspects done. I'm trying to get it done before Witch Queen comes out, but just looking at how things are going right now, I don't know if I'm gonna get it done on time, but that's fine. And I'm sure a lot of you are gonna be wondering what grenade launcher I am running. I am running Deafening Whisper. And the role that I have on it is Ambitious Assassin along with Auto Loading Holster. If you don't know where to get this thing, you get it through the Wrathborn Hunts. And all you have to do is go into your go into your quest section and go into your Legacy Cryptolith Lure. All you have to do is put a Deafening Whisper in that first slot and you can get one. And basically, I am using the Deafening Whisper to destroy the Ice Grenade in the middle of every single one of my Duskfield Grenades. And then after we destroy the grenade, because of our Fragments in Revenant, we are going to get Ability Regeneration. And then we will be using Stompies on top of that to give us even more regeneration while we are sprinting. And the fact that we have Auto Loading Holster makes it to where we can shoot one bullet, put it away, and run, get our next grenade, throw our grenade, shoot one bullet, put it away, get our next grenade, and it's just a constant cycle after that. Now the mods that I am running on my gear are first off, on my mask I am using hands on along with ashes to assets to gain bonus super energy on my grenade kills. And then I am running my first elemental ordinance mod. I am running two elemental ordinance mods and then I am running one bountiful wells to give me three wells every single time I get that grenade kill. And then on top of that I am running well of restoration and and elemental shards the elemental shards just helps with my ability cooldowns because the shards do not count as wells and for well of restoration it states picking up a stasis elemental well grants you additional energy for your abilities so it is just going to give us that extra well of restoration while we collect the shards and that is basically it for the build you can run any heavy weapon you want i recommend using galahorn just because after you use your Silence of Squall, the Gallowhorn does some crazy damage. And even your Deafening Whisper is going to do a lot of damage. So we are going to be heavily relying on our Deafening Whisper and Gallowhorn. Now that is basically the whole build. If you like this, go ahead and copy and paste. Try it out for yourself. Before we get out of here, make sure you all appreciate everything and everyone around you. I hope you all have a great day and enjoy the rest of the gameplay.
Once we have our Techians back, holding this area will be much easier. Thank you for all your aid. There are people here who care about him. As I told you before... 